Well, right now, let's talk about red light therapy. It is all the rage right now. It's touted to improve wrinkles, redness, acne, and scars, as well as help with other medical conditions like sports recovery and injury prevention. And there are all kinds of products for red light therapy out there. We're talking face masks, lamps, belts, wraps, pads. There's even boots. The list goes on and on. But what exactly is it and what does it do? Let's ask the expert. Dr. Sonal Harder is back with us once again. Okay, first off, explain how does red therapy work? Okay, so the red light is a visible light on the photo spectrum mm -hmm. with like the longest wavelength. And here's what red light does. It penetrates our skin, gets into a dermis, and actually stimulates the cells, mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of our cells, and it stimulates the mitochondria to produce better quality collagen or oh. fibroblasts or, you know, reduce inflammation. So that that's how red light works inside our skin. Okay, so you mentioned some of the benefits. Yeah. What else can it do? Okay, so, and that process, by the way, TRAM is called photobiomodulation. That's okay. basically what it means. Yeah. Now, it can reduce, actually, scar appearance. It can help with acne treatment. It can actually help with wrinkles uh, in long run, mm -hmm. sun damage, uh, also anti-inflammatory. So, infrared rays actually help with muscle soreness and muscle inflammation as well. Oh. So those are some of the benefits of red light therapy. Okay, so there is apparently a TikTok video that says red light therapy can be a replacement for Botox. I wanna show our viewers what it is. The red light will thicken the dermal layer and actually literally like stop, you know, wrinkles. One of the things that's involved in it is sort of just like the cells like aging and breaking down on a macroscopic level and red light treats that basically so doing it now consistently forever is like the greatest thing that you could do okay so i want to verify that with you can red light therapy actually replace botox i have to disagree with this one and here's the reason why <laughs> okay so there are two types of wrinkles if you can just imagine dynamic and static wrinkles mm -hmm. dynamic are the wrinkles like this when you move your muscles so when okay. you repeatedly move your muscle the contracture those can cause wrinkles now botox is great for those type of wrinkles okay now static wrinkles are wrinkles that happen from sun damage from living your life mm. and some hormonal changes just like I have a couple here on the side. I've got more than you, but yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the red light therapy, if uh -huh. done properly on a regular basis, can actually help reduce those type of wrinkles. So if you combine those two, yes. that's actually ideal for skincare. Wow, yeah. okay, that's so interesting. Now I know along with red light therapy, there's also blue light, mm -hmm. um, you know, and there's others. How did those work? Yeah, so blue light has a little shorter wavelength compared to red light. Okay. It does penetrate your skin superficially and actually helps with acne and some sun damage or precancerous skin lesions. Now, okay. here's the thing about blue light that I want of yours to be careful, certain skin types like darker skin types can have hyperpigmentation as a side effect of blue light. Oh. So this is where I tell people consult with a dermatologist before you use blue light. Red light, however, can be used for those other conditions we talked about, psoriasis, you know, oh. eczema, yeah, uh, yeah. also sun damage and wrinkles. But okay. blue light, I would say caution for certain skin types. When should you not use red light therapy? Okay, so red light therapy is not meant for people who have seizures or epilepsy, people who have photosensitivity or are on medications like doxycycline, tetracycline, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that can increase photosensitivity, and also people who are um, have autoimmune diseases like lupus, that can also sometimes just consult with a dermatologist in those cases. Pregnancy, lactation, although this is a safer light therapy, I always tell my patients to check with their gynecologist during those times, okay. you know, for any treatments. Always check with your doctor just to be on the safe Absolutely. side. Absolutely. All right, Dr. Sonal, thank you so much. Such good info.